Once upon a time, in a dark forest somewhere in Germany, there were five guinea pigs who wanted to celebrate Halloween. Frida, little ones, Sylvester, Minnie, and Gatsby. I want something fun for Halloween, something scary, but not too scary. I like the spooky Halloween maze we did last year. What could we do this year? It has to involve food. And hay. I know, let's carve a pumpkin. It could look scary and we'd have a nice decoration in our cage. The guinea pigs gave Gatsby's idea some thought and decided that they loved pumpkin. I'm going to look for a pumpkin. See ya! I'm coming with you. After hours and hours of searching, the herd decided that there probably wasn't a pumpkin in the living room. Perhaps though, little one thought, there might be one in the kitchen. Yes, I knew it! There's a huge pumpkin in the kitchen! Little one was happy to be alone in the kitchen. The others didn't know that, once a year on the night of Halloween, he transformed into a magical guinea pig. For a period of 12 hours, Little One was able to perform all kinds of spells. He usually used his powers to perform tricks on the humans. Last year, he made the other piggy squeak so loud and powerful that the humans had to keep the veggies coming. The past few years, he also played with the human's mind and got her to prepare some crazy Halloween snacks for the herd. It took quite a bit of magic on Little One's part to get the pumpkin into the cage. But it's Halloween, after all, the perfect time for some guinea pig magic. Little One was really exhausted after casting a make it move spell on the pumpkin. It's really exhausting being a magical guinea pig. Yay, look, the pumpkin appeared in our cage! I'm so sure it's foot with hay. That is one big pumpkin. I cannot wait to get my paws on it. This is the best Halloween ever. Actually, it's your first Halloween. And it's already the best. How did this pumpkin get into our cage? I know weird things happen on Halloween, but it for sure wasn't the human. Who cares? Let's eat it! Didn't you want to carve it first? Maybe. Maybe I only mentioned it to have a pumpkin. I vote for eating too. It's going to look pretty as a decoration even if it's half eaten. I'll leave no leftovers. The guinea pig started devouring the pumpkin. Little one made it back in the cage and joined the feast. He was already thinking about the ways he was going to use his magic powers this Halloween. 